what is the marketing mix? The marketing mix is one of the most famous marketing terms. The marketing mix is the tactical or operational part of the marketing plan. The marketing mix is also called 4 P's and the 7 P's. The 4 P's are price, place, product and promotion. The services marketing mix is also called 7 P's and includes the addition of process, people and physical evidence. The concept is simple. Think about another common mix, a cake mix. All cake contains egg, milk, flour and sugar. However, you can alter the final cake by altering the amounts of the mix elements contained in it. So for a sweet cake, add more sugar. It is the same with the marketing mix. The offer you make to your customer can be altered by varying the mix elements. So for a high profile brand, increase the focus on promotion and desensitize the weight given to price. The marketing mix concept gained popularity following the article titled The Concept of the Marketing Mix by Neil Borden, published in 1964. Borden explained how he started using the term, inspired by James Culleton, who is in 1940, described the marketing manager as a mixer of ingredients. Modern's article detailed these ingredients as product, planning, price, branding, distribution, display, packaging, advertising, promotion, personal selling, among many others. Eventually, Jerome McCarthy clustered these multiple items into four high-level categories that we now know as the four P's of marketing. The four P's were formalized and developed over the years by experts to ensure the creation and execution of successful marketing strategy. Through the use of this tool, the attempt to satisfy both the customer and the seller. When properly understood and utilized, the mix has proven to a key factor in a product's success. The four P's. First, the product. As Kotler and Armstrong put it, product means the goods and services combination that a company offers to a target market. The product is either a tangible good or an intangible service that is seen to meet specific customer needs or demand. All products follow a logical product life cycle and it is vital for marketers to understand and plan for various stages and their unique challenges. It is key to understand those problems that the product is attempting to solve. The benefit offered by the product and all its features need to be understood and the unique selling proposition of the product needs to be studied. In addition, potential buyers of a product need to be identified and understood. Second is the price. Price is the amount the consumer must exchange to receive the offering. The company's goal in terms of price is really to reduce costs through improving manufacturing and, and efficiency and most importantly the marketer needs to increase the perceived value of the benefits of its products and service to the buyer or consumer. How a product is priced will directly affect how it sells. This is linked to what the perceived value of the product is to the customer rather than the objective costing of the product on offer. If the product is priced higher or lower than its perceived value, then it will not sell. That is why it is imperative to understand how a customer sees what you are selling. If there is a positive customer value, then a product may successfully be priced higher than its objective monetary value. Conversely, if a product has little value in the eyes of the consumer, then it may need to be underpriced to sell. Price may also be affected by the distribution plans, value chain costs, markups, and how competitors price a rival product. Promotion. Promotion includes all the activities marketers undertake to inform consumers about their products and to encourage potential buyers to buy these products. Promotion includes all the tools available to a marketer for marketing communication. As with Neil Borden's marketing mix, marketing communication has its own promotions mix. 
while there is no absolute agreement on the specific content of a marketing communication mix there are many promotion elements that are often identified as advertising sales promotion public relations direct marketing online communication and personal selling it is important to differentiate between marketing and promotion promotion is just the communication aspect of the entire function and sales is one aspect of communication the fourth is place the place includes companies activities that make the product available to a target consumer place is also known as channel distribution or intermediary it is a mechanism through which goods and services are moved from the manufacturer or service provider to the user or consumer the four piece concept has been criticized for a lack of focus on services the conventional marketing mix tends to be applicable to tangible goods that is the traditional definition of products services or intangible goods also a vital customer offering and can be planned for in much the same way as physical products to cater to the unique challenges of services the 4p model has been supplemented with three additional categories which are to make the services marketing mix or the 7p's and these include physical evidence people and process physical evidence is the material part of the service strictly speaking there are no physical attributes to a service so a consumer tends to rely on material cues there may be many examples of physical evidence including some of the following buildings equipment signs logos annual accounts business reports brochures your website and even your business card people in zeitmal's words people are all human factors who play a part in service delivery and thus influence a buyer's perceptions namely the firm's personnel the customer and other customers in the service environment people are the most important element of any service or experience services tend to be produced and consumed at the same time and aspects of the customer experience are altered to meet the individual needs of the person consuming it process processes the actual procedures mechanisms and flow of activities by which the service is delivered this service delivery and operating systems there are a number of perceptions of the concept of process within the business and marketing literature some see the process as a means to achieving outcome for example to achieve 30% market share a company implements a marketing planning process however in reality it is more about the customer interface between the business and consumer and how they deal with each other in a series of steps and stages that is throughout the entire marketing process a vital feature of the marketing mix is that the consumer is the focal point of the activity the value of the product is determined by the customer's perception the goal is to achieve a satisfied and loyal customer lack of true customer focus though a total focus on the customer and what they desire is a vital element of the 4p model the truth is often a danger of being overlooked by enthusiastic marketing personnel to counter this robert lotterbaum put forward his customer centric 4c's classification in 1990 the model converts the 4p's into more customer oriented 4c's product to customer solution price to customer cost place to customer convenience and promotion to customer communication thus whereas a marketer sees themselves as selling products customers see themselves as buying value or solutions to their product and customers are interested in more than just the price they are interested in the total costs of obtaining using and disposing of a product Customers want the product and service to be as conveniently available as possible. Finally, they want two-way communication. 
marketers could do well to think through the first four Cs first and then build the four Ps on that platform. Thank you 